What's going on, Facebook Prospecting Pro? Glad to have you here. Thank you for tuning in. I won't take a lot of time. I just want to dive into our prospecting tool. So our auto prospecting tool, better known as Friend Connector, is going to allow us to dive into Facebook and laser target the exact kind of prospects that we want to find, bringing them into our friends list, aka our audience, because I like to think of our friends list as our audience. So our auto prospecting tool is going to automatically target the prospects that we want to find, connecting us with our dream client, so to say. So what it does is we're going to dive into a Facebook group, and this tool is going to allow us to go into a Facebook group and start scraping through the member section, finding the exact prospects that we want to find. All right, so this is going to automate us prospecting through Facebook and really take the guesswork away from us having to do, you know, guesswork when it comes to prospecting and trying to find good prospects and all that good stuff, you know. So anyways, I'm going to dive into a Facebook group. And once you have the Chrome extension downloaded, you'll just access it from the top here, opening the Facebook tool. So in order for this tool to function and for it to work, you need to be in the people section or the members section of the actual Facebook group. Alrighty. So once you're here in this member section, now when we open our prospecting tool, as you see here, it's going to allow us to start setting some filters, enter our keywords, and then hit run. Okay, so once we're in the members section, we're in the people section of this Facebook group, we'll go ahead and open our prospecting tool. All right, so from the top, again, remember this tool is automatically targeting and then sending friend requests for us. All righty, so from the top, the lookup interval is basically the time between each friend request being sent out. So it'll target someone, send a friend request. Five minutes later, target another, send a friend request. Five minutes later, send another so on and so forth until it's completed. So right now I have five minute intervals between each friend request being sent out. And I recommend a minimum of three. The time interval is super important because we never want to throw red flags to Facebook or we never want to seem like a bot. So having these time intervals set in place kind of seems like we're still human like, which is very nice. And that's what we want. Now the request limit. So you can actually limit this tool to send a certain amount of requests and then it'll stop automatically. So like right now, I have it limited to send 25 friend requests. So after it sends 25 laser targeted friend requests, the tool is gonna automatically stop, alrighty? Or if you hit infinite, it's just gonna run and run and run and run until it scrapes through that whole Facebook group list. Now, I don't recommend that. I do about 25 to 50 friend requests per day now that's up to you to gauge, especially if you're a newer account or you've never automated friend requests like this. I would season your account and start with about 25 to 30 requests. Give it a week or two and then kind of up it from there, right? Maybe go to 30 to 40 requests. Now the gender and country filter, we're still working on these. These are extra user uh, features that we're working on releasing. And if you feel like you can benefit from those, go ahead and reach out to me and you know we'll cover that. But again, think of the group that you're scraping through as a filter. So if you're in a local Texas group, well, you won't really need a country filter because everyone in that Texas group, you can assume, well, more than likely they live in Texas or at least somewhere in the US, okay? So keep that in mind. Now, this is the most important part is keywords. So we enter keywords that best self-reflect our prospect or the people we wanna target and find. So you'll notice I have keywords like health, um, experience, recruitment, recruit, Right, because one of my targets is insurance agents, because I know those are the kind of people that I can help. So think of the kind of people that you can help and enter the keywords that best self-reflect those individuals. Like what do they call themselves, okay? And now what it's doing is it's gonna target the people's bio. So whatever they have in their bio, it's targeting those words using our keywords. So like Julianne here, she has brand ambassador, at Goddess Cosmetics. So that's her bio. So if we had any keyword relating to her bio, it's gonna target her and add her as a friend. So that's how it's kind of doing the targeting is it's using keywords targeting people's Facebook bio or their intro, like the, the about them. So for instance, if you're in this small business group and you're looking for a you know coach, you can put coach. Maybe you're looking for a contractor, put contractor. Maybe you're looking for a bookkeeper bookkeeper 
DPA dentist assistant bartender right I don't know I'm just kind of throwing some random keywords and maybe those who are who I want to target so once you're in a nice narrow down group you're in the member section you got your tool open you've set your intervals your request limit you've got your keywords set up what we're gonna do is hit run and it wants me to refresh the page of course sometimes if we sit stagnant too long on the Facebook page the tool is gonna want us to refresh the whole page in order for it to properly run okay so I'm in this group all right I'm in the member section I'm gonna open our prospecting tool I've got my parameters set right my filters my interval things like that I've got my keywords I'm just gonna hit run and here it goes it's gonna start scraping through this group for me automatically all right so it's already gone through a hundred people and it hasn't found one good prospect I know for me manually to even go through a hundred people trying to find a decent prospect, it's really time consuming and tedious, something I would never want to do. So it's going to start scraping through until it does target a prospect based on the criteria we set inside of our prospecting tool. Boom, it found our first prospect, Gwen. So Gwen is an assistant manager at a veterinarian center. Okay. Um, you know, depending on my service or my offer, she may or may not be a fit prospect for me, but that's up for me to gauge and for me to judge. For example, if I was selling life or health insurance or something like that, who knows? Maybe she could be a potential prospect. She works at a veterinarian and she needs some better coverage, something along those lines, whatever the case may be but that's the idea behind the prospecting tool all right so now you'll just let it run let it scrape up let it do its thing okay and once it completes all 25 friend requests it'll automatically stop all righty so as you'll see it's just spinning like it landed on this prospect and it's just spinning well it's spinning because remember we have the time interval set in place so it's going to wait five minutes before it actually sends the friend request so it's spinning five minutes it'll send the request and then it'll just keep going down the list until it targets another person it'll wait five minutes add them keep going down the list target another person wait five minutes it'll add them so on and so forth okay so just let this tool run in the background while it's running just leave this tab open do not interfere it you can open up a new tab go to Facebook or whatever and go about your business like normal and then just let this prospecting tool work in the background okay and let it do its job. Alrighty, I hope that helps you. I hope you got some value out of this video. And one last thing I wanna to touch on is, think of it like you're telling this tool to complete a task, right? So for instance, I hopped in this group and I told the tool, hey, send 25 automated friend requests for me, one every five minutes, okay? So if it's sending 25 targeted friend requests and it's doing one every five minutes, well, that's a total of 125 minutes for the tool to complete that task. Okay, so after 125 minutes, the tool will have completed all 25 targeted friend requests and done. So do that once or twice a day, rinse and repeat. And that's how we go about targeting Facebook prospects through groups automatically, baby. Alrighty, enjoy, have fun, leverage this tool, use it to your advantage, get familiar with it. And I think you're going to find a lot of value out of it. Alrighty, enjoy, see you on the next video.